Australia beat France to secure a place in the 2023 Women's World Cup semi-finals at Lang Park in Brisbane. Matildas win dramatic penalty shootout. For the third World Cup in a row France depart at the quarter-final stage. I didn't think anything would beat the penalty shootout between the USA and Sweden, but this was wild. 20 penalties taken, penalty specialist goalkeepers brought on, VAR decisions for Arnold coming off her line, goalkeepers taking penalties and missing, goalkeepers saving the same penalty twice. I cannot say it enough, goalkeepers are the main event this year, and I don't even think I'm being biased. Les Blues enjoyed the better of the 120 minutes, especially the first half, then towards the end of extra time, but they failed to find a way beyond Mackenzie Arnold. In arguably the biggest match in the Matildas history, Australia is gearing up for a quarter-final against France at Brisbane Stadium. Australia has turned it on in their last two matches, smashing Canada 4-0 before putting in a thorough and professional performance in their round of 16 win over Denmark in front of a record crowd in Sydney. Their clash against France is their biggest challenge yet, with Les Blues undefeated at the tournament and scoring 10 goals in their last two matches, including a 4-0 drubbing of Morocco in the round of 16. Despite being outsiders for the match, the Matildas are being backed by all of Australia, with a sold-out and passionate crowd expected in Brisbane, as well as millions watching on from home and at live sites up and down the country.